Okay, today I'm going to do a quick demonstration of EF80 EX, how to quickly record and erase tracks to put a song down. And uh, I've been trying to do this over and over again. This is why I haven't updated a video because it's like nearly impossible for me to get things straight in my mind how to reproduce what I have to do. I know how to do it, but I just, okay, try to formulate it right. So anyway... With no further ado, let's get started. Um, we're going to plug our instrument in to the jack here, number one. Number two, I already have a drum track recorded on track one and a bass track, track two. So I am going to play quickly what I have here so we have an idea. Track one, track two. So we get them around zero. Balance them out on zero, and then use your master. Okay, so now, before we get into all that, here's your display right now. It shows track one and two playing, both stereo left and right channels. And what we want to do is just to get back to the beginning of this track we want to either just push and hold rewind or quicker yet just hold stop down and rewind simultaneously and it'll bring us back to the track now the next stage of the game is to select a track you want to record on in this case i want track three i'm going to depress that until i get a red flashing light bring up the volume to where i want now you're not going to get any sound out of that track right now because you need to do one thing first. You press that record button until it flashes. That means it is now active. And as you can hear it, we're getting sound through that unit into the track. And I also evidence here, track three is active. Okay. So the next step to record, we would simply depress the play and record button at the same time. And then you will get that track actively ready to record. So when you're ready, just depress that play and record track. Press stop. Okay, I don't claim to be a guitar virtuoso. But just for now, this will demonstrate something more important, and it's getting you involved in your own recording. So now with, with the track fully recorded, um, we could simply just depress this button and return it to green. So now whatever's recorded on that track we will we will hear the audio recording and like i said earlier we want to stop rewind at the same time get back to the beginning of that track and now we will push play to hear our final track recorded or not final but the final additional track that we recorded on track three for the guitar these tracks here could just remain down they're not being used we're just focused on these three so we're going to see what we have now. Okay, the guitar did not come in right away, so we may have to wait for a measure or two.
Okay. So the track is there. Supposing you don't want that track anymore. You want to rewind. I mean, you want to erase it. Simply put, um, we just go over to the erase button. Let's see if I can find that for you. That would be the track edit program button. Sorry. Depress that. And then you will get this screen here. It asks you erase, copy, move, exchange. So it automatically went to erase. So we're simply going to hit the yes or no key, which in this case would be here. Enter. Yes. And track three is flashing already. We can use the jog wheel to change the track that we want to erase. In this case, we're going to just erase three. Hit yes or no again. Yes. Now, instead of worrying about the, the point select and all, I would just take your cursor and move it down to where it says EXE or execute and hit the yes key again. And it says completed. Once you complete, you want to exit out. And now we will go back to the beginning of this track and see what we have. Push play. That guitar track should not even appear anymore. And as I noted before, the guitar sound track did not come in right away with the drums and the bass, so we will wait for those measures to play through. But as you can see, one and two tracks are alive and track three is no longer there. it is erased <laughs>